welcome back. In this lecture, I want to tell you about the logarithmic spiral and uh, a type of logarithmic spiral, which is called the golden spiral. So the logarithmic spiral has this uh, relationship that the radius is equal to a constant a times the exponential function e to the b theta, where theta is the angle. So it's, uh, the relationship is written in polar coordinates with uh, the radius r and the uh, angle theta. This is uh, what a logarithmic spiral looks like. So we start at some center here, and we're spiraling out. Here we're spiraling um, counterclockwise. You see in the, this first spiral here, we've gone out one unit. Each uh, circle in this figure is um, one unit spacing apart. So we've gone out one unit. And then when we spiral again, we've gone out three units from one, two, to three. And then we spiral again, and we go out four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine units. So we go from one to three to nine. So every time we do a spiral, we are increasing the radius by a factor of three. That's how a logarithmic spiral works. Uh, because of that, if we look at a, at a picture of a logarithmic spiral, we can change the magnification so we can zoom in. And it looks the same. At all magnifications, it looks the same. When we zoom in and zoom out, it looks the same. So that's the key property of the logarithmic spiral. Because of that property, the logarithmic spiral uh, shows up in nature. This is a picture of the Nautilus shell taken from uh, Wikipedia. The previous diagram is also from Wikipedia. Here we see that the Nautilus shell grows in such a way that it traces out a logarithmic spiral. A okay, very beautiful picture. So what is a golden spiral? A golden spiral is a logarithmic spiral, but the radius of the spiral increases by a factor of the golden ratio, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, each one quarter turn of the spiral. Okay, so one quarter turn is one quarter of a, of a circle. A uh, circle is two pi, so one quarter is each pi over two angle. So if we then use that to determine the exponent, remember it was uh, r equals a times e to the b theta, we can use this condition to determine b so we get the radius is equal to the, um, a constant. Uh, here there should be an a. Constant a times the golden ratio phi raised to the 2 theta over pi. So when theta increases by uh, pi over 2, the radius then increases by a factor of 5. Here's our um, golden rectangle divided into spiraling squares. There's a square here, a square, a square, a square, a square, and we see a spiral here. Because each of these squares is being reduced by a factor of the golden ratio each time we go one quarter of the way around the circle, we can fit into this uh, golden rectangle, a golden spiral. Here's what it looks like. So this is a beautiful golden spiral fit into this figure of the spiraling squares. Now, the famous mathematician Jacob Bernoulli um, was very fond of the logarithmic spiral. Next to me here is his uh, tombstone. Um, Jacob Bernoulli was um, one of the Bernoulli family members. Uh, 
bunch of famous mathematicians. He was one of the early proponents of the calculus and one of the founders, together with his brother Johann, of the calculus of variations. Uh, most notably, I think, Jacob Bernoulli was a major contributor to probability theory. And he has a few things named after him in mathematics. He has the Bernoulli differential equation, the Bernoulli numbers, and the Bernoulli distribution. Now, Jacob Bernoulli apparently had a somewhat mystical fondness for the logarithmic spiral. And he wrote in the English translation that the logarithmic spiral may be used as a symbol either of fortitude and constancy in adversity or of the human body, which after all its changes, even after death, will be restored to its exact and perfect self. Uh, we can look at a translation of the inscription on his tombstone. It's interesting to see what his uh, wife wrote here. It says, uh, Jacob Bernoulli, the incomparable mathematician, professor at the University of Basel for more than 18 years, member of the Royal Academies of Paris and Berlin, famous for his writings, of a chronic illness, of sound mind to the end, succumbed in the year of grace, 1705, the 16th of August, at the age of 50 years and seven months, awaiting the resurrection. Judith Stupanus, his wife for 20 years, and his two children have erected a monument to the husband and father they miss so much. Now, if you look at the bottom of this tombstone, you can see a spiral. Um, we can uh, blow up the picture of that, is here. Uh, Jacob Bernoulli had requested that a logarithmic spiral be engraved uh, on his tombstone, together with the inscription, Edom Mutata Resurgo, which translates as, although changed, I arise the same. Referring to both the logarithmic spiral and the way that it's invariant under different magnifications, as well as the hoped for resurrection of the dead at the end of the world. Unfortunately, the stonemasons uh, carved an Archimedean spiral at the bottom of his tombstone and not a logarithmic spiral. You can see how the spacing here is constant. While we know that for a logarithmic spiral, the spacing should increase by some common factor. Also, there's a bit of uh, error at the end here where the spiral seems to come back together. I guess a dead man can't complain. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>